Robert. Oh, please. We are talking about the movie Office Uprising. This one is directed by Lynn Oding and stars Zachary Levi, Brendan Thwaites and Jane Levy. Now let me ask you, have you seen the movie Mayhem that starred Stephen Nguyen from Walking Dead fame? If the answer is yes, then let me tell you, you have already seen this movie, because it's literally the same plot. Now if you're unfamiliar with that one, you may be familiar with this movie, have you seen The Belko Experiment? If you mix The Belko Experiment with um, Scott Pilgrim vs The World, then voila, this is your movie. But anyway, in case you still haven't seen any of those, let me tell you the plot. It essentially follows a, a kind of a day in the life in this wacky kind of ammo factory with this kind of company that makes a variety of different weapons. And we follow our, our kind of hero, Brendan Thwaites' character who is a slacker. And he's kind of at this somewhat of a dead end job in this kind of like the accounting department in this uh, uh, kind of like weapons uh, research facility, etc. And uh, a disgruntled employee decides he's going to take revenge on the company by giving all its employees this um, kind of energy drink, which ultimately is meant to enhance a soldier's ability, but essentially changes everyone into kind of like murderous kind of psychopaths with no kind of inhibitions and whenever they get annoyed they'll just kind of like have their kind of like most murderous uh, instincts come to the forefront and it's like to Brendan Thwaites with a couple of friends to try and uh, kind of go up, up to the levels and you know maybe kind of find a way to kind of stop all this madness literally the same plot as Mayhem which only came out uh, earlier on this year I believe so it's co-worker versus co-worker in lots of kind of little wacky hijinks, lots of kind of over-the-top violence and, uh, and bloody gore. So uh, what do we think works about this movie? So this movie is a horror comedy, so don't be expecting any kind of seriousness out of the bell curve experiment. This is much more in the kind of uh, the comedy vein with kind of more uh, silly wacky hijinks and kind of serious kind of like messages of bloodletting and anything like that. But nonetheless, it is still a kind of pretty violent movie and there are lots of over the top kind of action sequences. And Zachary Levi actually makes kind of quite a menacing bad guy. He looks a little bit more buff here. Obviously, he's kind of getting training for the movie in Shazam, so he's kind of been working out a, lot, a little bit for that. And as such, he kind of cuts quite a, uh, a mean, imposing kind of uh, boss figure here, which I actually thought he did quite a good job of uh, kind of quite a uh, menacing bad guy here. I mean, uh, Brendan Thwaites plays a kind of a, almost like a Peter Parker type uh, kind of loser who's kind of always in the, kind of the receiving end. Maybe they've got a little bit to to OTT, making him a bit of a slacker because he comes across as, quite frankly, uh, I wouldn't employ him. But there you go. Uh, and it's a typical thing where he has this kind of like the Rainer, his the, the office romance with Jane Levy's character, who you may know from the Evil Dead remake. You've also got the guy who uh, played Dopinda in the Deadpool movies, he's here kind of playing a very similar character to that with lots of kind of humour. In fact, there's, there's a whole, this joke, this, the joke of this movie is that these guys are always kind of like getting up to kind of like hijinks and there's plenty of jokes. Not all of them land, but there are a couple of funny moments here and there. And some of the action sequences are quite well staged. Any downsides to this movie? Well, I've got to say the, the premise clearly isn't very original because we've literally had two very similar movies coming out within the, kind of the last couple of years. So it suffers a little bit from seeming somewhat derivative to that. And even then you can kind of like uh, compare it to things like kind of Battle Royale. But nonetheless, you know, it is, you have seen this movie a couple of times now. So it is suffering a little bit from seeming like a little bit derivative from that. Also, I think the joke gets a little thin after a while. I mean, some of the jokes that you have, with just the kind of the interplay, don't always land, if I'm honest. And the, the whole kind of like when we get into our, um, our action sequences, it's very much more and more of the same kind of like, you know, co-workers versus co-workers as they go up for different levels and, and things. There are a few jokes that do land for me. I, I really quite found it funny when they go into HR and of course HR has all got all the attractive women in it. So it's kind of a little bit of commentary on office working life and stuff like that and all the, all the women all bitchy and backstabby to each other. So there's come some, you know, it's throwing out some stereotypes here, but nonetheless it is, it is quite amusing at times. Um, 
ultimately the, t the, the movie feels like it's just a little bit of a fun time waste. It doesn't doesn't kind of really offer anything new. I feel it's a bit of a shame it's just come out so close to these other, other movies that are so similar to it. Otherwise, they, you know, I may have looked at it a little bit more favourably. But the ultimate the story is, um, you know, very predictable. Uh, the characters are, again, very kind of like one note and predictable, despite the fact that I do quite like some of them, uh, you know, how they're played. But, you know, the, the guy who's playing... Uh, the, the guy, the guy who was the Pinder in Deadpool, is literally the same kind of role. Jane Levy has nothing to do in this apart from kind of being a uh, the girl who needs to be saved, you know. Uh, and obviously, um, uh, Brendan Thwaites' character is the kind of the, the typical kind of slacker hero who kind of comes good at the end. So no real kind of breaking any molds here. A few kind of like funny moments here and there. Lots of kind of stylized moment, moments and of violence and some quite fun action sequences, but they all kind of blend into one. But it's worth a little bit of a watch if you kind of like, just want a fun kind of action horror comedy. I think you can do a lot worse, because it does have a good kind of like, uh, uh, you know, good pace, there's always something going on. And I think if you're just kind of looking for like, a good splattery action film that doesn't take itself too seriously, you can probably do a lot worse. So I'll give it a six out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Just leave me a comment, and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.